Uh, what's going on Facebook? As you can see, uh, out here on the job, got good old dust all over my face. But um, uh, a lot of people have been doing the uh, pick and dip. Um, there was a guy out in Australia who kind of came on the internet first and did it, and then uh, Charlie Collison, um, he did it as well, and he's the one that has really um, kind of popularized it. Um, the whole point is to have a smaller trowel uh, to lay brick quicker by not spreading mud and playing with it. Um, I'm over here in the States, so we don't furrow the mud or anything like that, and I'm on a small foundation. So what I'm gonna do is just show you using uh, my nine inch Philadelphia uh, W Rose trowel, um, how I would go about um, doing the pick and dip method. It's not something I do on my bottom three or four courses on a foundation. Um, but when you get up and um, you can uh, have to move a little bit faster and you're not bending down as much to um, spread mud, it is very, very effective. So here it is. I hope you enjoy it.
Okay, that was uh, how I would do the pick and dip. And like I said, I don't really do it on the bottom four courses. Um, it's something that from the fifth course up I do. Uh, it just seems like it goes faster doing it the other way. Then I do a kind of another version of it um, where I do a long spread. Like again, uh, we don't fur the mud out out here and we cut the back of the wall off. It doesn't really matter. Uh, a long time ago, I heard the guy that taught me how to lay brick, mortar's the cheapest thing on the job. So we don't really play around with it. We just try to get brick in. So what I'm gonna do is a long bed spread um, and then also do a pick and dip and kind of time both of them once I get back and look at it and uh, you'll be able to see which one is faster. Um, I know a lot of people overseas, y'all worry about the cavities and stuff like that. Um, again, when you're doing this on a house, you have to um, roll the brick to the front of the line. Um, so that kind of takes a little bit of getting used to, but on a foundation, you can pretty much just uh, in all reality kind of throw them in there so this is the second version of it i'll be using the 10 inch narrow london uh, uh marshalltown on that one and you'll be able to see the difference all right
okay? Uh, whether you like it or not, that's how I do it. Uh, big fan of Charlie Collison. Uh, big fan of that other guy over in Australia. I forget what his name is. He was kind of funny. He wore a suit and everything to lay brick. But uh, definitely um, when it's hot outside, having the fresh mud down there, each brick makes a big difference. Um, I would go back and show you my brick, but the head joints uh, for the most part are full. Um, some of my bed joints had some holes in them, but we'll just fix that when it's pointing up. Um, you know, you can call me whatever you want to call me, but that's the way I do it. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll try to do some more. But uh, shout out to Charlie. Uh, looking for some more videos. Really enjoy them. Um, Rhodium builds like your stuff too. Hope uh, everybody has a great day. Hope everybody stays well and stays safe. And uh, we'll see you on the other side.